There's a joke I could make about the name of the inn, but I won't. Hey everyone, welcome back to more Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel. Last time, we did our first, uh, well, it was an optional quest, but still our first thing that we've really done out in the field study. And this time, we're going to continue on with the field study by going right across the street from the inn to Odvin's Arms and Orbal Factory. I'm talking to Samus? Welcome, this is the shop's Orbal Factory. Oh, you wouldn't have to be the student from Thor's, would you? That's correct, we're here in regards to your request. Involved for placing the orbment light on the, in a road lamp on the highway, right? Could we ask for the details? Sure, let's get right to it. As you read, one of the road lamps on the western highway stopped working the other day. And the cause of that is the orbment light inside it breaking. So basically, I want you all to go switch the broken orbit light for a new one. Speaking of which, here you go. So all that's required of us is to place uh, the broken one with this then. Yep, that's about the size of it. So, where exactly on the Western Highway is it? Once you're on the highway, keep heading north until you can see a place called Lunaria Nature Park. There's a windmill in front of it that you can't miss. Lamps near there. Make sure you get the uh, check the maintenance panel to make sure that it's the right one. We'll have B-02 written on it. Near the windmill in front of the nature park. Understood. Is it safe to leave such work in our hands? I believe none of us have any experience related to this. Don't worry, pretty much anyone can do it. All you're doing is taking the light up and putting in the new one. Simple. I guess the most difficult part uh, thing about it is remembering the code to unlock it, but you can just write that down. Code. You need to input it so we can open the maintenance panel. Code is 466515. So yeah, remember that? The light from the road lamps actually repels monsters, so in other words, in places where there's no light, they're much more likely to appear. So keep an eye when you're replacing it. The last thing you want is to be caught off guard by monsters. Thanks for the warning. That's pretty much it then. Would you mind heading out to do it now? And of course we will go and do that as we get the quest, Any Bright Ideas. So yeah, now we're heading back to the Western Highway, which is what we did last episode, but for a different reason. I mean, we've... We were near that area before anyways. Uh, Reed's a little bit low on health, but it's fine. Just run past the bugs, run past the snails. And it's, especially if you've already done the other quest, there is really nothing to this one. And if we head just right over here, here's our light. It's supposed to be near the windmill in front of the nature park, right? Hmm, this light doesn't appear to be working. Means that's probably the one Samus was referring to. And the number on it says B02. Yeah, this is the one. Alright, then we must enter the code after taking care of our uninvited guests. Monsters. There sure are a lot of them. Guess those lights really work. We need to change that thing quick. Green, can we entrust the task itself to you? And we don't actually have to fight. The code is 466515. Uh, that will give you an extra AP if you get it right. It's not too difficult. Thank you so much for your help. Looks like things have finally calmed down. Thankfully, hard to believe how much of a difference those things make. Got that done in record time, Reen. Yes, I was expecting the process to take much longer. Pretty simple procedure, since I wasn't being arraigned by monsters the whole time anyway. Still, good job. And I guess that's a wrap. I just need to go and report back to Samus. And maybe a reward is a Varia suit or something. I don't know. I've never actually played Metroid. Um, I, yeah, I've I know nothing about Metroid. It's, I just know that Samus is the main character and Ridley's a big old dragon. But this isn't Metroid. This is Trails of Gold Steel, which is very much not Metroid. Because I don't see any power suits around. And we can just keep on sprinting along until we get to the armor factory. Hey there, I take it the job's done? It is. I'll also give you a detailed report on it, too. And, yep, I have the old armor light here, too. Thanks, I'm gonna fix up so it can be used again. Glad you're all safe after dealing with those monsters, though. They were hardly a threat. We, we did take up the request, knowing it could be dangerous after all. 
Your military academy kids really are a tough group. Oh yeah, can't forget to give you a reward now, can I? We get detection. Sure, we can take one of your quartz? Of course, we did some solid work, you know. Thanks for the help. Feel free to come along whenever you need uh, me to give you your ornaments. Check up. Detection is actually a really good ornament. Um, discover un uh, undiscovered treasure chests are shown on the mini map. Mini map. Um, it just helps to make sure that you haven't missed anything. Uh, however, I believe... No, okay. I thought he had a Master Quartz. Um, over here... Oh, oh I take you the soonest the market manager was talking about. Well, feel free to take a look at my wares. They might not compare to what you have uh, getting bigger smithies, but they should come in handy either way. He has new stuff for us. Um, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to take advantage of that exploit, because, uh, yeah, we would not nearly have the money otherwise. We'll just upgrade everyone's weapons. And also their armor. Uh, in addition, I mean, while I'm here, I might as well exchange secret masks. Uh, later on in the game, uh, money doesn't really become an issue, but just this early on, it can be... You end up being a little bit strapped for, for cash. Yeah, we'll grab that. Uh, I always, I often accidentally press the right. mode button. I'll figure out how to where it eventually is. Okay, looks like it's just heading out that way. Um, because Rain is low on health, I might as well show something off. If we go into the inn, we can rest. It costs a hundred Mira, but since we have uh, so much money right now. You can spend money to completely fill up your HP and your EP. Uh, just as everything else, uh, you know, just as the normal Arban charging stations, you do not recover CP from that. Now that we have detection, we can see where all the treasure chests are before we have to do anything. This would be a really tranquil area, if not for the monsters. Yeah, let's be careful. And there we go. No new monsters here. Just King Dragonflies and Crop Munchers. And this is the reason why these bugs are so annoying. Poison spray. At least Alisa managed to dodge. Yeah. It's a little bit on the rough side. There is a way that we can hit all three of them, so we may as well do that. Uh, what? Hang in there. This is something you will see me do you a lot things. over the course of the game. <laughs> I love Blessed Arrow. It's <laughs> such a good craft. My turn. Shatter. Off guard. Fence down. I'll pick you up. And not enough to finish him off. Uh, really my only complaint about Blessed Arrow is that it cannot affect Elisa herself, but that's not really too big of an issue. I think Elisa's probably gonna go down to the poison. No? No, she wasn't poisoned. Me. Okay, it's safe for now. Yeah, those bugs are really annoying. I've got this! Right here, we get a ground bait. And heading out this way gives us an EP charge. Doesn't this, this an EP charge want that? Uh, I might as well show this off right now. Uh, what is it? If we go into arts. Uh, healing arts, you can just use outside of battle. Still costs the same amount of EP. Why I'm going to 
use Laura for it because Laura's EP doesn't really matter. This is... I don't think I've taken one of these guys out. Yeah, have we? Now's our chance. We can do this. Ripple advantage, always nice. My turn. And yes, okay, Office. Ripper Squirrel. Activate. It's my turn. Let's do some investigation. Turn to flames. Fire to flame bears. Burn. Of course. Didn't even burn them. <laughs> and. <laughs> That one there. That's what the Ripper Squirrel is all about. And let's go with you. LH is a little bit more of an attack. My turn. Green. There. So up not on Leaf Cutter. Because we got the critical for it. Takes both of them out. I can do this. Unfortunately, that one's actually going to get a chance to move. Ripping Ripper. Oh, that. Of course. Did, like, no. <laughs> With a name like that, I expected it to be much more dangerous. Is everybody okay? But, nope. It was harmless, basically. That clears them out, and we can keep on going this way. Uh, yep, there's a chest over there. I thought I recalled that. Uh, a wolf. Proxy puppet. We have nothing to fear. Right. Uh, we don't really. Turn we don't have too many crafts right now to worry about, so now. we'll just fire some of those out. Give it up, everyone. Everyone's still together, so it's not a resounding beat. Just to get a little My bit turn. of a buff in there. Right. Takes one of the enemies out already. All right, let's let's do throw this. out a motivate. Got it. Okay. Leave it to me. This is a very physical group. Uh, Elliot's the only one that doesn't really uh, get affected by that. And Miss, unfortunately, because she was blinded it's by a sand attack. Her accuracy was lowered. Turn to flames. Throw out a flame burst on the evil crow. Burn. Very nice on the unbalance. Right. And also get a poison. There we go. I mean, the poison didn't really end up mattering, but oh well. It's the fault that counts. There we go. That's that. Let's keep moving. Level 9 for Reen. Just some stat bonuses. And outmaneuver the wolves. Okay. Must be the farm that put out the monster extermination request. Should we go inside and ask for more details? Yeah, we might as well. It's certainly better than just wandering around blindly until we find the thing. Agreed. We're here, so now's as good as time as any to introduce ourselves and integrate ourselves to the locals, I guess. Yeah, fair enough. Wow, this farmhouse is huge. <laughs> Look at the cows. Those are some giant cows. Whoops, I did not mean to shoot you, ma'am. Ah, the cows stink, harvesting across is exhausting, the farm work is just the worst. Why I'd have to be born to a family like this? Oh, stop cleaning, ma'am. Hello. Our fruit we produce is just deliciously fresh and healthy. You can even make whole juice out of it, and it'll still be just as good for you. Whole juice recipe! Hello, would you happen to be Syro? I'm here to take care of that monster that's, care that's causing issues here. I said we'd like some further details on it. Oh, you are. I'm the man you're looking for, though. Hmm. Well, I didn't know it would be students taking care of it. I wasn't aware that you had young ladies in your company. Uh, the rest of you are younger than I expected, too. Perhaps this request may be too dangerous for you after all. Thank you for your concern. However, there's no need to worry. All of us here already have combat experience. Indeed. This all serves as part of our, as my training, too, so please allow us to undertake the quest. Well, if you insist, you'll come across a plateau of sorts if you proceed beyond here. 
That's where the monsters that's where the monster tends to appear. It truly is a ferocious one, so so much so that passing by the area is impossible, as it attacks everything it sees. Do take extra care when approaching it. <laughs> right. Being careless with this one doesn't seem like an option. We have to be thoroughly prepared for it. Allow us to make our way there at once our preparations are complete. Yeah, let's give us everything we got. So got that taken care of. And our preparations are well. Um, hmm. Proxy Puppet saves from that at least once. Let's go. I'm just gonna. Oh no, not Arch Strength. Normal Strength. Elliot gets the Arch Strength one. And. Go, uh, guess prevent blind and poison. Sure, yeah, why not? Oh, also, uh, what is it? It's it should be around here, isn't it? There's a fishing spot in this area. Might be in the next zone though. Could have recalled there being a fishing spot here. Oh well. We'll just head on to Highway 2. Yeah, it should be in that area. Oh well. One chest just has a tira ball. Which I mean that is some good healing. I'm not gonna deny good healing. Transcontinental Railroad, huh? Guess that'll take you out of the country. Yeah. If you keep on heading east, you'd eventually reach Gorelia Fortress. A little bit more world building. Very nice world building. There is a lot of world to this game, despite the series really only taking place across, I believe it's like seven games total. Um, lots of places that remain unvisited, so, it's just, it's just a nice little thing. Uh, what is that? That's a Ripper Squirrel. Wait for you to turn around. Now's our chance! We can do this! My turn! And there. Ultra Auto Omni, better attack those two first. I can do this! Um, I know there are definitely no strengths and weaknesses to every character. I just don't off the top of my head my head recall a lot of the weaknesses. Um I can do this. Especially if they're more maybe less specialized characters. Like obviously Elliot's weakness is that he's not really all that good at physical stuff, but also doesn't need physical. We did it! No, Laura doesn't really have any good arts or whatever. Elliot gets Detector, Analyze and Enemy, making it easier to unbalance them. Also, uh, saves us from having to use Analyze. However, still having an Analyze on hand is nice, uh, in case you don't have Elliot, because, you know, we're not always going to have him in our party. It's not really much of a surprise. There's a wolf there, we'll just run past him. Huh. Is that a treasure chest? Get Earth Lance. Earth Lance has a range, doesn't it? It is an area. Okay. Um. We'll replace Needle Shoot with the Earth Lance. Just because having a range attack, or having a multi target well, attack, shall we begin? is always nice. And oh boy. Yeah. This is a very problematic fight right now. I can do this. Um. Turn to oh boy. Burn! Laura is inflicted with confused. Confused. Right, uh, let's boosts, do this. Uh, or confused makes you attack an ally. Yeah, this is a problematic fight already. Uh. activate. Yeah, Laura was gonna do a lot of damage there. 
and still inflicted with Confuse. Clears out a decent number of enemies. And down goes Laura. Yeah, the wolf fights are pretty deadly. The, probably the easiest ones are the Ripper Squirrels and um, Crop Muncher. Or, right? Here we go. Yeah, Crop Muncher is the easiest part of this. Um, wolves have a lot of numbers and can often feature acerbic tomatoes. And uh, the bugs are just. The bugs can inflict poison. Here we go. Music changes because we are a little bit okay, weakened, but it's now. fine. There we go. Now then, uh, it's a good thing to actually show off that anyways, because uh, Elisa has Delis. Revives an ally, stores a little bit of HP. And we'll just have Elliot heal up the party because we are close to the boss fight. And as in like physical proximity, we're it's right here. It's a dinosaur. You can never get revenge on a monster like this. Is that the monster we're looking for? Certainly seems to be. Looks pretty tough. What should we do? We don't really have any choice, do we? we? Have to kill it. It's causing problems for the farmers. Everyone, double check your equipment. We need to be prepared for whatever this thing might throw at us. Understood. Right. Yeah, you can never get an advantage over a monster like this because they will not move, but they will turn to follow you. Careful, this one looks strong. My turn. All right, let's do this. Start off right away with a motivate. It'll give us a little bit of CP, but more importantly, it gives us a strength up. And I can do this. that is faint, I believe. Uh, faint is. Hang in there. Uh, it makes. It prevents you from moving, and every attack against you will be a critical. It is a very painful status to have. Um, do we have anything that just cures faint stimulus? Thanks. My turn. Uh. Shatter. Sadly, the zero art is not really helpful, but oh well. Tail blow. Able to hit both Laura and Elliot, but luckily we managed to avoid with uh, Alisa. So we get a little bit of counter attack. We have the strength buff and throw a detector. And he's very weak to water, which is nice to know. Too bad I don't really have anything that uses water. Uh, he's Turns pretty flames. resilient against burning. Burn! But we still do burn him anyways. Oh, Good dodge by Elisa. Of course. Shatter. And keep on moving with oh, the armor breaker. Lower are. his defense even more. My turn. Uh, I think it's even more. His defense is at least lowered. And... There! You got an autumn leaf cutter. Hmm. Problem is that gives him a critical. Uh, good thing we can use the arch delay in order to right. throw a crit there. And Turn yeah, another flam burst. Hopefully we can get the burn because it's a critical. We will unbalance. Green gets chomped a little bit. There he goes. A lot of training to do. Ellie, uh, Alisa and Laura both level up. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> I've only just begun. Laura gets Earth Cleaver. It attacks in a line, lowers the movement, has an unbalance, but more importantly, it attacks in a line. Takes care of that. I don't know how we did it, but we won. It would have been even tougher if not for the power of our combat links. I hate to admit it, but the Arcus does seem to have a lot of potential. You hate to admit it? Why? Never mind that. We should go tell the people at the farm that we took care of the monster they reported. I hope they're pleased. 
dare. No, it's nothing. Let's go. Wonder what that's all about. We are a little bit over time, but we might as well finish off this quest. It should be pretty easy. We just have to go and run back. Um, I still do want to find out exactly where that fishing spot is, because I know there's a fishing spot here. And it should be on that bridge. But I'm just having difficulty finding it, so... He's killed the Highway. We run along here. Nothing. Nothing. Again, I am like certain that there's a fishing spot here. Uh, I'll probably just start off next episode with wherever the fishing spot is. But, oh well. Since we are over time, a little bit by a few minutes. Minute. Yeah. A few minutes. I had to talk to Syro. Oh, I seem to be taking care of that monster. That's correct. Thank goodness. Thank you so much. Now we can finally begin harvesting again. Let's let the family know right away. Welcome. I found myself surprised at how close this area is to Keldic, however. Wouldn't it have been much quicker to make a request to the provincial army instead? Well, it is admittedly close, but in this area and Keldic as a whole is on the very outskirts of the Croydon province. As such, the provincial army isn't very interested in aiding us. Ah, yeah, it's not too hard to believe considering their attitude, really. It certainly doesn't sit well with me. I probably shouldn't say any more on the matter. However, I still do owe you all, uh, you all your reward for this. You get fresh eggs, strawberries, honey syrup, coarse rusk, rock, salt, bleh. Of course, we've got enough to last this here as is. After all, your hope is the least I can do. Hope you enjoy them. And they do look great. I'm rather envious that you have the opportunity to eat such delicious food every day. It's one of the benefits of being a farmer. Well, unfortunately, it's not all good. Things have been getting tougher lately. Seeing as how goods are being imported so cheaply nowadays. So aware of that. Importing has become a much easier task thanks to that transcontinental railroad and international flights. Furthermore, more and more goods can now be illegally imported as a result of the rising population. And yeah, cheaper ingredients. And yeah. We finish up that quest. And next time, I'll be returning to town. So until then... See you guys later.